is breaking news from Channel 13 Eyewitness How News. How someone could just hit another human being and just leave the scene of the accident is just, it, I can't imagine it. A 10-year-old girl is dead tonight after getting hit while walking in Kokomo. The alleged driver already in custody after police say he took off and left her lying in the street. Our Emily Longnecker is live at Riley Hospital tonight after speaking with the fifth grader's family and the strangers who rushed in to help her. Emily. Well, John and Andrea, within the past hour, we just learned that that little girl passed away here today at Riley Hospital for Children, despite doctors' best efforts to save her and those efforts of Good Samaritans who were first on scene after she was hit. We also know that the suspected driver is in custody after police found him in his car less than a mile away. Just blocks away from the hit and run, police on Thursday arrested 22-year-old Josh Cochran for leaving the scene of an accident resulting in death. Our partners at the Kokomo Tribune shared these photos, showing officers taking a man away in handcuffs and the car allegedly involved parked in a garage. I just don't understand why they wouldn't stop. Rayshon Rails is talking about the driver she says hit the child and then kept going. And he flew, he flew away. Rails was headed east on Alto Road when she saw the girl walking in the same direction on the opposite side of the street. Uh, what I was thinking is, oh, sweetie, you need to get over, and that's a really cute backpack. Seconds later, Rail says she watched in her rearview mirror as another driver coming west hit the 10-year-old head on. I mean, it was the most horrific thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Rails, a mother of two, pulled over, ran towards the girl, and flagged down this man. I pulled over, blocked all the traffic, and decided whether to go after the guy that hit her or stay and try and help the little girl that had just been hit and made the decision to stay and help the little girl and try and um, keep her alive. Rail started CPR. Just something came over and I just did it because she's a baby and I needed to do it. At some point she realized the child's mother was there too. She was crying and I'm doing compressions on her baby girl. And earlier tonight, the little girl's brother described her to me as a loving person who loves to sing. Police are not releasing her name until all notifications have been made, and they don't yet know if drugs or alcohol were factors in this crash. John? That's just a heartbreaking story. Thank you. Emily Longnecker at Riley Hospital tonight.